Hi hun, welcome to another hairstyling video. If you are tired of wearing a high puff everywhere all the time, this video is for you. So today we're going to be doing a twist out, but with a little bit of a twist, okay? And it's going to look like this. Are you interested? Let's go. So just yesterday, I had moisturized my hair. Um, I put in like a lot of leave-in conditioner to moisturize my hair and I put my hair in twist so that it can stretch and then I put the twist in a bun so it can stretch a little bit more so I have my hair looking like this so I'm gonna take down the twist at least all the twists that are frontward and then I'm gonna look like this so the next thing I did was take my ratio comb and I did like a horizontal part from ear to ear yeah that's all ear to ear yeah that's basically what i did then i bundled that section um into a twist and then i roll it up and pin it down so on the rest of my hair at the back i'm going to be doing twists like i said before i only loosened the twists that were frontward so um the rest of that any loose hair i'm just going to pack it out of the way while the remaining twists um at the back i'm going to start there you know from the bottom sections of my hair i think it's important to mention that my hair at this point like i said before is moisturized and it's a uh, 95 percent dry so for best results in twist outs make sure that your hair is moisturized but also like not wet okay so it doesn't take forever to dry so um for this twist out i'm going to be using my Cantu uh, coconut curling cream and uh yeah this is what i'm going to apply in my hair to do the twist and hopefully i get a really good twist out of this i'm going to apply the product thoroughly from root to end throughout that section it's very important that you don't use too much product at once if you don't want um the twist to take forever to dry especially if you have low porosity hair like me try not to use too much product at once so i'm going to take a section i don't really need to use a parting comb for this i'm just going to take a chunk of my hair and make sure once again that the product is evenly distributed throughout the strands and then i'm going to go ahead to do my twist now the tighter your twist is the more definition you stand to get from your twist out so um if definition is not really your goal then you can twist a little loosely but you know i'm going for definition i have attempted twist outs before okay and um every time i didn't twist uh tightly you know the definition would just wasn't even it at all like it wasn't even there so yeah i it, i learned from experience that twisting tightly is what does it for me so anyone that works for you Sha. once i get to my ends which by the way look like they need a trim i'm just going to twirl the hair in my fingers i'm not going to twist all the way down to the ends so yeah there it is my first twist it's pretty right and look how stretched my hair is like it's so crazy Anyway, so I'm just going to um, go ahead and repeat the same thing over and over again, section by section, because that's basically what twist outs are, you know, you twist your hair with some styling product and you leave it in for a little bit and then hopefully, you know, hopefully twist outs is a game of, um, it's a game of luck to be honest. Although some people have cracked the code shower, but I can't say I'm one of those people. So to me, twist outs are uh, a game of, of chance. So you put in your twist and by God's grace, you know, <laughs> you take down your twist and um, you see a twist out. Um, I think for twist outs, the longer you keep them in, the more definition you stand to get. So um, if you, if unless you're in like a hurry, you know, like me, this is Saturday and I'm going to church tomorrow and I'm thinking of carrying a twist out. Okay, so that's why um, I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping and praying that the twist out comes out well. So yeah, the longer you keep your twist in, the better um, the definition you stand to get. Try not to use too much product when you are doing your twist and make sure that while your hair is moisturized, it is not wet especially when you're just starting if you are trying to do twist outs with freshly washed hair blow dry your hair before you start your twist if not you are going to be waiting for at least a week before you can do your twist outs okay 
So with all the twists in the back done, we are moving on to the front. So I'm going to remove all these clips and then uh, I'm left with a bunch of hair in the front. But don't worry, I already know what I want to do. So I'm going to take my um, rat tail comb again and I'm going to do like a zigzag part through the middle of my hair. Now, I don't want to do a straight center part because I feel like I've just been doing that so much of recent. So I opted for the zigzag um, part. Now that the pattern is done, um, I'm going to bundle up this side so that I can go to work on the other side. So um, I'm going to take my Eco Styler Gel and I'm going to apply it to the margins of the parts and then my edges. I'm just going to apply it all around. Next, I'm going to rub the gel in, just make sure that, you know, it really gets in there and the section lies really, really flat and sleek. So I'm going to take my hair tie and then, you know, tie it all up. Well, so far so good, but I must say my ends look like they are in severe need for a trim. I'll definitely be doing that very soon. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side. You know, apply gel, uh, rub it in, brush it down, and then pack it up. Now I have two very pretty space buffs. Okay, so I'm going to take my Cantu Coconut Curling Cream apply it onto my space puffs and then proceed to do a few twists now looking back i think i should have twisted a little tighter than i did in this part of um the twisting but um at least now you will get to see the difference between twisting um tightly and twisting loosely and how it affects your twist out outcome so yeah um i made about i think six twists per space puff when it's time for results you're going to see the difference so it's the next morning sunday morning and i'm getting ready to go to church so it's time to take down the twist my edges are already coming out getting rough if not for edge control gel can't do nothing to my edges so anyway um, i'm letting down the twist at the back i'm taking my hair tie and i'm going to pack them back up i don't even know why i let them loose in the first place but anyway i'm going to pack them all up so that i can handle each twist one by one so i'm taking um my uh cantu curling cream again this time it's going to act like a butter you know this is the point where the twist start where somebody would put like oil or butter in the palm of their hands to unravel their twist gently but i don't do oils and butter so i'm just going to use my cantu curl cream again um i apply it to my palm and then i go um to work on the first twist so i unravel very gently i just kind of twist it in the opposite direction that it was twisted i don't know if i understand that english but that's what i'm doing and um very gently i go at it and eventually it comes out looking like this very very nice very simple then i move on to the next twist and i repeat the same process make sure that you do it very gently okay at this point i was really rushing because you know i was i woke up a little late you know i was running late for church but <laughs> i can't go to church with half with half work no need to get it done so as much as i was in a hurry i had to still take it easy and unravel the twists the fact that i had gone and fixed my press on nails did not even make it any easier for me but thankfully this is my shortest set i just i don't know i don't even know why i fixed it i fixed it because i mean it's church you know you want to look pretty for jesus <laughs> i don't know <laughs> anyway so um with the rush that i was rushing and the nails that i fixed and cannot operate i just I struggled but you know eventually eventually we pulled through and we came uh we came out victorious at least for the unraveling side of things because now it is time to separate at this point you're going to have to be really careful put your finger through the unraveled twist and just gently pull it apart until you know you have like the same thing but in a smaller size i don't know it's like the splitting of cells in science class. That's the best way I can explain it. 
just like um j- just like the process is deemed separation so you just take one of the unraveled twists and you just gently separate it into a smaller section doing your best not to mess too much with the definition okay so um i think that's the most basic way that i, I know how to explain it so as you can see um f- from the video from my video demonstration i'm basically just doing that take the unraveled twist and then separate it into smaller defined sections i'm going to go ahead and repeat that all over my head bear in mind okay i'm very very late for church at this point church starts at 8 and i think at this time it was uh 8 15 yeah it was 8 15 and i was still here filming youtube video for the masses <laughs> so you see you see the pain stick the pain stinking stinking pain <laughs> that i go through for you guys so at the very least eh, just help me to like this video then if you want to take it an extra step just subscribe hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that the next time i post a video you will be made aware finally it is time to unravel the twists um on my space buns um, as you'll see, the twist outs achieved on these space bones is going to be a lot looser and less defined than the ones at the back. Because, like I said earlier, you know, I twisted them not um, as tightly, I twisted them loosely um, compared to the ones at the back. So, I'm not expecting too much definition, but I'm still hoping to see a little bit of definition, you know. So, this is how the um, twist outs uh looking so far and to be honest i'm impressed um so i'm going to take a little bit of hair and wrap it around my hair ties just to hide them and make the style look a bit more natural you know i mean doesn't get any more natural than this but you know a, li- a bit more natural um and then i'm going to take my edge control and i'm going to brush back my edges uh, notice I didn't say lay my edges because I'm really no good at that anyway. I'm just going to brush them back, you know, make them look a little less unruly. Uh, once I'm done with that, uh, well, that's it really. That's the final look. And um, it's looking good. As far as I'm concerned, this is not a fail. This is actually, this actually came out a lot better than I thought it would. Finally, finally, you know, as the last and final step... I'm going to use bobby pins to pin down that round I don't know how to explain it but you know it was looking like my hair had like a hump so I just basically pinned it down for it to look a little bit better so this is final look I'm sure you can see the difference between the parts where I twisted uh, loosely and the parts where I twisted tightly so yeah um those are the results for the different ways you can twist um so now you know on your next twist starts whether you want to twist tightly or twist uh loosely so thank you so much for watching this video all the way till the end uh i'm glad this style came out the way it did for me and i hope it does the same for you when you try it like this video drop a comment subscribe share with everyone that you know and i'll see you in my next video bye